here we are in the garden. Now I've got my cucumbers. These are Boston pickling cucumbers planted in such a way that I'm going to let them grow up on this hog wire. I bought these hog panels and I have made kind of a little arbor with them and it seems to work okay. Last year we had so many pickles we didn't know what to do with them. But I'm putting about 30 pickles total down both sides of this. 15 per box on each side. Give me a total of 60 plants on this and that sounds like a lot but with the right soil amendments it works out perfectly. So looking forward to seeing how this works. This is rhubarb. It's an heirloom variety. Victoria rhubarb. It says it's supposed to be planted 30 to 60 inches apart, but <clears throat> in square foot gardening, things aren't exactly done that way all the time. So, we're going to etch us out a spot here about twice the size of the pot going in the hole. Now, I peel this off. Most people don't, but I do for the simple fact that it seems to do better, at least in my estimation. I have actually had plants die, dig them up later, and this still be around them. So, but it will eventually degrade, not quickly, but it will. Put this in the ground, I would normally water this, but the soil is so moist. We had a heavy rain last night. In fact, it flooded the pond. Hope it didn't wash our catfish away. Somebody told me one time that this has some kind of nutrients in it. I don't know how true that is. May or may not. But either way, we'll get this put in here and get it spread out. I'll break these up and put it around them. Kind of as a mulch. Alright. Got a rhubarb planted. Now we'll be looking for some rhubarb next year. It takes about two years for rhubarb to produce anything. So let's see what happens next year. <clears throat> Here's our cucumbers. This is a uh, Boston pickling. Boston pickling cucumbers. Okay, let's start this one over. Get my knife out and do this. I felt like I know what I'm doing. All right, this is Boston pickling cucumbers. Do this a little bit different. What I'm gonna do We'll try to get at least 15 planted in this one and 15 in the next one. So I've got to separate these. It's not the recommended way. The recommended way is to plant them both together, let them grow. But because I'm saving money, this is how I have historically done this. Break them apart, separate them and they actually do separate. You have to be very gentle with them. Put them in the ground. And we don't have to water them because they have plenty of rain. Plant them plenty deep. That's what we'll do, and I'll do the rest of them. 15 on this side, 15 on that side. Gives a total of 60. That'll be growing on this, 30 on this side, 30 on the other. And that'll produce enough pickles for us to can a lot this year. <clears throat> 